Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Faith Storms. I am a licensed social worker with a passion for tapping and energy healing and human design. <clears throat> and today our topic is just notice. <sighs> so this is coming from my personal reflection today. So I'm at my sister's house, so it's a different background than usual, and I've had a chance this morning to sleep in, to rest, to reflect, to just take the morning very slowly. I've done some little personal bookkeeping, a little personal accounting. I've listened to an audio from a class I am taking on <clears throat> called Listen which is about changing your relationship with food and your body. And one of the things that was coming up was this idea of, wow, you know, sometimes I started to think about what are the, what uses does food have for me? And one of the things that came up was, wow, eating is procrastination. Because I was like sitting here thinking about, oh, I could do this, I could do that. And then I was like, hmm, let me get something to eat. And I was like, oh, isn't that interesting? And when I thought of, gee, I'm procrastinating, I'm using food to procrastinate, then I was like, oh my gosh, I got to do something about that. And then I realized, wow, that's putting a lot of pressure on me. And when I feel pressured, I, uh, it's not good. So what occurs to me is let's stop pressuring ourselves to fix, fix, fix. And how about we just notice? So this is what I'm going to be practicing today. Rather than demanding of myself that I need to figure out what the answer is to a problem. No, I just want to notice. I want to observe. I want to be a kind and compassionate witness. I want to notice what's going on. I do not need to fix it. Let's just notice. So today I'm noticing that sometimes that, that when I get uncomfortable or worried or stressed or anxious about doing a task, that I will often think of, oh, I need a snack. Oh, I need to eat something. And so right now I'm just, I'm noticing this and I'm just gonna be curious about this. I don't know what needs to be done. If anything, maybe nothing. Awareness is a huge, huge tool. Let me just say that it's really big. A lot of times we don't necessarily need some big, huge, complicated strategy. We just need to become aware of what is going on. We need to tune into reality. And if you just give yourself some time and space often, you will quote unquote fix it, you, you'll, you'll address it, you'll make some adjustments, but it will be kind. It won't be like hammer it out and pound it out and stress yourself some more. We don't need that. Nobody needs that. Now, if you begin to get stressed <laughs> from noticing, from observing things, because that happens, then I encourage you to use the tapping to calm it down. So again, you know, rub the sore spot, even though, and you know, tap on your hand. I'm holding my phone, so I can't tap. But you know, even though I'm noticing I use food to procrastinate, I accept myself. Even though I'm noticing that I use food to procrastinate, I accept myself. Even though I'm noticing I use food to procrastinate, I accept myself. Using food to procrastinate. <laughs> Why don't I want to do that thing? What's going on? What worries me about doing my task or chore? What worries me? What am I anxious about? There's anxiety. There's worry. I'm not sure. Collarbone. I'm not sure. Anxiety and worry. Underneath your arm. Pit. Anxiety and worry. Top of your head. Anxiety and worry about doing that task. So... And I do, I do encourage you to do that when you're experiencing stress, anxiety, 
uncertainty, fear, terror, overwhelm, any of that, do the tapping, do the tapping, just to bring it down some. Because when we are in, if we're overwhelmed, if we're flooded, we don't think very well. We're not going to come up with answers. We're not going to come up with solutions. And we're certainly not going to be able to put them into action. We must be calm to be able to take effective action. So let's observe, let's notice what's coming up. The feelings and the feelings, the impulses, and sit with them a moment and then tap on them. Like we don't, we don't, we don't need to forever sit in misery. No, I'm not a fan of that. We, we need to tolerate distress to a level and it's okay to do things to reduce it, positive things. We don't want to do destructive behaviors, but it's okay to do the tapping. It's okay to move around a little bit. It's okay to ground yourself. It's okay. We just don't want to be like totally numbing out with food, alcohol, drugs, sex, buying, blah, blah, blah. There's any other number of things out there. We don't want to do that. We need to acknowledge our feelings, but we don't need to sit for hours in misery either. That's silly. And we're not going to do it. So use your tools, get support, reach out, do the tapping on the anxiety, procrastination, procrastination, what don't I want to face? But again, even if I identify, oh, I don't want to face this, I don't have to fix it all right now. So I encourage you right now, just be observing. You can take some action too, but like stop pressuring yourself to take action. Just observe. Thought for today. All right. See you next time.